Happy Halloween, everybody. This is Mr. West, and today we're doing a math drills tutorial on Halloween Cartesian art coordinates. So this is a great exercise because it helps you learn how to do coordinates while at the same time creating a cool picture just in time for Halloween. If you need a link, there's one in the description below. So first off, we need to understand how we plot these points. So how do we plot them? The X is the first number that goes left and right, and the Y is the second number that goes up and down. So this one, 215, that's gonna be our first point, and it's only one point. You're not gonna point, uh, put a point on the X for two and 15 for Y. So another example, if we have an X of negative five, that means we're moving to the left. 13, that's a positive 13, that means we're moving up. And lastly, if we have a 15, that's positive 15, that's for the X, that means we're moving to the right, and negative two means we're moving down. So if we go down here to our coordinate plane, we can plot our first point, which is 215. Keep in mind, for line one, you're connecting all those points. Line two, you're connecting all those points in orange. Line three, same thing in green, and then you can see the rest. Those are all separate little shapes that all connect to make something bigger. We're gonna have to see what it makes in just a moment. So like I said, 215 was my first point, so I need to go to the right two. Okay, there's my one, two away from the origin, that's the center, and then 15, you can see on my y-axis is between 14 and 15, so it should be right about there. So let me zoom out a little bit. If you wanna fast forward, that's fine. I'm gonna fast forward and do this real quick and plot this whole thing. So I just finished my jack-o'-lantern. You can figure it out. Obviously, it's a jack-o'-lantern, which is pretty cool. Um, so what we can do now is we can actually color it in. So if you want to color it in, I think that's a great idea. I'm going to grab some different color sets of markers here, maybe a little bit bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and color in some of the features of it. I'm going to start with black for these eyes. I'm going to might add some color later into it. Okay, and I'm just gonna do this real fast. This isn't gonna be my best work, but this is gonna be pretty fun. I would encourage you to color it too when you're done with it. All right, so we got our nose here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some light in these eyes in just a moment. But first I wanna get a nice dark shape in here. Okay, done with my mouth. Could use a little bit of cleaning up. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Make the edges just a little bit sharper. Again, this is for you guys, so you can make it whatever you want. Math Drills just has the template for us to display our creativity. Okay, so now I wanna put some 
yellow in there just to show like a little flame or something. So I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow in there. All right, a little bit of yellow. All right, almost done with this first part. All right, so I'm done with the first part. I wanna get the stem next. That's been on my mind. I'm gonna change that color actually to this darker green. Okay, get the stem. It's a little one-dimensional, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some highlights with a, maybe a darker green right here. And maybe some brown, actually, too. I'm gonna do some little dark highlights here just to make it pop a little bit. And I think I need a little bit more brown. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. I think I need a little bit more black now that I think of it. And a little bit more brown. I'm gonna increase the size. Okay, cool. I'm liking that. I just made it a little bit more rustic looking. Now I'm gonna use my highlighter function. This is Notability, that's the program I'm using here. And I'm gonna highlight this whole thing. So actually, let me undo this. I'm gonna increase the size. We're gonna highlight the whole thing. And I can probably just go right over all my previous work. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna be kinda using some highlights later. Actually, I wanna do a little bit better job than that. Okay, so let me zoom out. And I'm just gonna kinda do big marks here. And again, I can clean up the border pretty easily with the eraser function. I just wanted to get this first step. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, here we go. And almost done. Cool, got it done. Now I'm gonna clean up the border just like I did before. And what's cool about this is I can copy and paste this to make it a little bit darker. So I'm almost done here. Okay. Now, he's looking a little one-dimensional. I'm gonna fix that real soon. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this and paste it, just to darken him up. So you can see this is gonna make him a little darker. And actually, I'm pretty happy with that color. I'm gonna darken up this uh, leaf patch here. So that's too big. Let's make it a little bit darker right in this area. Again, I'm gonna add some brown just for a little bit more rustic. Okay, maybe he's been out in the out in the rain a little bit too long in the darkness of Halloween. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's definitely not, but it's starting to take some shape a little bit. Now I'm gonna add some lines here with my orange. I'm gonna get my dark orange here. I'm gonna add some contours. This is gonna really make them look a little bit more sharp. Okay, so sharpen them up. So this makes them look a lot better, if you ask me. Okay, and then actually I'm gonna take my highlighter and this is gonna be my finishing touches over here. I'm gonna darken up one side of this guy. I don't like that one. Make this a little bit bigger. I think that's gonna increase 
it'll look a little bit better. Okay. And this is just a real basic look here. But just the little things that kind of make it look a little bit better. Okay, it's, I'm noticing he needs a little bit more orange everywhere else. So I'm just kind of going over the whole thing yet again. And he is not looking too bad. There we go. We got our Halloween pumpkin. And this is, again, a tutorial video for MathDrills.com. Happy Halloween, everybody. Leave a comment if you want to see another type of Halloween project or another type of Cartesian art project. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.